Hey, thank you for coming to our channel, watching our video. I know there's a lot of content out there. It means the world to us that you're watching our video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about phase three of our shed conversion. So step one, we did everything that you see here. We built the shed, we put in insulation, drywall, flooring, lights. We did everything that you need in order to have a work from home office. Phase two, we built a deck out front in order to try and keep a lot of the dirt out. And we also added string lights to connect the house and the shed. So it brought a little ambiance to our outside space. We're really happy with the way those came out. We also added a couple of outside decorative items, including pots and plants and a rocker that is really nice if I ever want to spend a little bit of time outside during the work day. Phase three, what we wanted to do is we wanted to add some outside storage. We wanted to have the ability to us to pull some of our lawn equipment, some of the odds and ends that we have in our garage, we wanted to pull that into some outside storage here out by the shed. This is gonna give us space inside our garage to really kind of move around as well as get a second fridge. We're really trying to stock up on breast milk, frozen dinners, things that we can do some quick meals with. And we have very limited space in our fridge today. All of that being said, we are really happy with how this lean-to came out. We worked with an aluminum company and built our lean-to. I then went to Lowe's, got some pavers, and we're going to put those pavers so we have a nice, level, clean floor that we can store these different odds and ends outside in our lean-to storage space. Let's go ahead and get started for today. We wanted to share a couple of before shots so you can see how the shed looks before we start adding a lean-to. For some added strength when we concrete in the posts here, they added rebar and crisscross sections of the bottom, gonna give us some rotational strength as well. part about this project was that we were able to take the boys to their first Lowe's trip. They were super thrilled. Of course, anytime we go to Lowe's, we are at risk of mom buying new plants, but it was a risk we had to take in order to get those pavers. I was so excited to get everything out of our garage that I didn't really show you guys a before of the pavers, but here's kind of the first steps of the pavers that we have and we're going to be adding some more in the corner, but this is able to get us started and emptying our garage and getting us some additional storage space. Thanks so much for watching our video. We had a ton of fun with this project. We're really excited with how it came out. It's a versatile space for both me and Brooke to be able to utilize in the future. I think some additional things we might wanna do is maybe try and put some workout equipment out here and turn this into a home gym. Lots of different kind of options for us. Right now, home office, it's coming out great. Lots of outdoor space, the ambiance, everything that we built on the outside is just perfect for us. Couldn't be happier with the way it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna support the channel, it means so much to us. If you subscribe and get notified whenever we're posting new videos, we've got a lot of outdoor projects. We've got a lot of indoor projects. Also, we're just wanting to use this channel to keep up with our lives as we raise our twin boys. If you're interested in that, Check out some of our other videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. 
We are really excited to have as many people as we have watching our videos and who are interested in what it is that we do. Killebrew Crew, out.